Hey Astro fans, this week I thought I would ask a question that I got recently. It comes from Kieran Wood who asks, what are your thoughts on time? Now there are many different answers and branches that I could go into on this, but I thought I would stick with just one, space time. The word space time gets thrown around a lot in popular science programs and articles, sort of assuming that the public kind of knows what it is, with maybe a one or two sentence explanation. But I think we should go into the details. Space-time, otherwise known as Minkowski space, is the concept that space and time are part of the same thing. Part of the same fabric, as some people like to say. A fabric of space-time. As you move through space, you also move through time, which seems intuitive, doesn't it? Because if you move your hand from here to here, time still passes. It's taken a certain amount of time for me to do that. But the thing is, even if I stay completely still, as time passes, I am still moving into a different part of space-time. A way to think of this is to imagine a stack of space slices piled up on top of each other. As you move through time, you move up through this stack. Now, although the slices all look pretty similar, you're actually moving into a different part of the geometry of the universe. The geometry of the universe. You're never in that original part of space-time ever again. This is the key message as to what space-time is. Space and time are intertwined. Together they make up the four dimensions that we experience in our universe. This way, this way, this way, and forward in time. What makes this interesting is that this opens up a whole new load of possibilities. You may have heard of something called a wormhole. Now, a wormhole is effectively a tunnel from one part of space-time to another. If we take that space-time fabric, or that stack that we imagined earlier, and fold it in a specific way or put a tunnel in there, then you can travel vast distances in space, or through to different periods of time. They sound like science fiction, but theoretically nothing rules them out. They are valid solutions of Einstein's equations of general relativity. It's just keeping them open that's the difficult thing. By picturing space-time as a fabric that you can fold and put tunnels through, it may be a bit easier to understand why gravitational bodies have some of the effects on time that they do. So we know that an object like a black hole, something really massive, stretches space-time around it. Now if you were to be in the presence of that black hole, in that stretched space-time, your time would slow down. Which makes sense, because space-time is stretched. The thing is, scientists have actually proven this using atomic clocks. They put one on the top of a mountain, and kept another one at sea level and they let them keep ticking for as long enough as they needed for them to be able to measure any differences. Now when they brought the two clocks back together, they looked at the times, and the one that was farther away from the Earth's surface at the top of the mountain was running at a time ahead of the one that had been kept at sea level. The one nearer to the centre of the Earth, closer to the gravitational pull of the Earth, had experienced time more slowly. I think that's really incredible and really cool and I was absolutely amazed when I found that they could do something like that on Earth. So we could delve a lot more into general relativity, but today I just wanted to go over just space time because we could be here for hours. But if you do want more, such as maybe explaining the twins paradox or why it is that when you move really fast your time slows down, or what the effect of matter has on the path of light in space-time, then let me know. Until next time, keep being curious.